have Blue Man finally cracked the code with their new Monarch Matte Paste. In this review, it's time to see what they've come up with. Blue Man is one of them hairstyling brands that I've been certainly very critical of in the past. Before now, I reviewed all these. The first one, the original by Blue Man, then the Cavalier Clay, followed by the Hybrid Cream Clay. And in all truth, none of these particularly excited me. For my hair, at least, there seem to be a lot better options than this um, at the same price or even at lower prices. In my hair, the original by Blue Man is incredibly sticky. It tugs a bit too much for my liking, and I don't find myself getting any more volume with this than with a bunch of my other pre anyway. I found the Cavalier Clay to be a slightly greasier version of Hans de Foucault Claymation, basically. Overall, certainly wasn't a bad product, but didn't give me the look I was going for. And it didn't seem to work with the type of hair that I've got. Out of the three, the Hybrid Cream Clay is definitely my favorite to use. In my hair, this worked better as a pre-styler than the original by Blue Man. And then it performed quite well as a styling product. Not fantastic. I prefer something with a bit more hold. And you're paying premium sorts of prices for these, so I was kind of expecting more. I know you dudes want to see these products getting reviewed, so since they've released this Monarch Matte Paste, I thought, you know what, let's test it out. Let's see if it's better than any of those. If you do want to buy this one, I'll link it down in the description below. The reason this one appeals to me is because it advertises high hold and matte finish. For most dudes, I think that's a winning combination. This one came in a small cardboard box, which I can't find because I think I've chucked it in the bin. I'm not really bothered about that bit. In terms of the packaging, you've pretty much got the same styling as all the other products. It comes in this black plastic jar and then you've got like green stickers on this time. This one's got a line on the top. Overall, again, I'm never particularly impressed with the Blue Man packaging. I think at this sort of premium price, the average person like me, for instance, would expect slightly higher quality and better design packaging than this. I've seen tons of just regular, super cheap high street products with better design packaging than this one. Overall though, uh, it looks okay. That's about it. I'm sure that isn't gonna bother most of you, so let's take a look inside. In terms of the scent of this stuff, um, I, I don't know what it's supposed to smell like. As a whole though, it smells fine. Just quite a neutral smell, really. I'm not all that bothered, really. In terms of the texture of this stuff, uh, this is pretty much exactly what you'd expect from a paste. Maybe a bit more creamy than average. However, this enables the product to easily be rubbed between the hands so that you can get an even spread in the hair. I'll be using this product on top of previously pre-styled hair using some sea salt spray. And then I've just used a hair dry to get the volume so that it's ready for this to work. This goes into the hair far easier than the other products in their range in my opinion. No messing about, go straight in there and with this one, unlike some other pastes, I don't find myself having to go back and reapply again. This one distributes across the whole head of hair very evenly. With this one, unlike a couple of the other products that I've tried, from them before, you're able to get the hair in the shape that you want pretty quickly. And you'll also start to notice now the finish of the hair. This one advertises a matte finish, whereas some of their other products before advertise a natural finish, which with the natural finish ones, I found that you actually get more shine than what I would consider to be a natural finish. But with this one, as you can see from my hair, this is actually a matte finish, hurrah! I'd say that this looks natural, this looks good. You get relatively good texture in the hair too. You can add a slight bit of disheveling if that's what you want. And the hold that was missing from the hybrid cream clay, I'm glad to report is actually here in this one. Now the hold here isn't mega hold like some of the other products I've included before like Dawax, but the hold is good. At least in my hair, the hold is solid. They've rated the hold here a four pores out of six pores. Again, I don't know why they're rating it out of six. It makes it harder for them, surely, because four out of six is only equivalent to a 6.6 .6 out of 10. But in my opinion, I would say that this is more like a 7.5 out of 10 in terms of hold. You can move a bit with this one. It seems to definitely last a few hours. You can cope without hairspray, but I'd probably still recommend it anyway. While I've been editing this video, I've just been having a quick nosy at some of the other reviews that are out there as well. Some of the other guys who I trust when it comes to hair product reviews, who've got quite a lot thicker hair than me, uh, have said that they have struggled to feel that much hold with the product. However, for me, I've got pretty thin, fine hair really as a whole. Uh, I've found the hold in this to genuinely be decent, so I think maybe this is one that they've sort of designed for more guys of my type of hair, I don't know. So if you're a guy with the super thick hair, then maybe something like the Blue Man Meraki will work for you, um, if this doesn't. 
but if you are a guy with like thinner hair like me, then I'd say this is the go-to choice. But now, back to the rest of the video. And I've tried this product several times over the last few weeks, and it definitely provides very consistent hairstyling results. I can get the same performance from this product again and again and again, which is great because it makes it really easy to use. And that kind of sums up my experience with the Monarch Matte Paste so far. Consistent, good performance, which is what I found was the trouble with these other ones. As you probably guessed, this is by a long shot, my favorite Blue Man product. And in my opinion, I think that this is gonna be the most versatile for most guys. And I'd just call it the best product overall that they've made so far. This one kind of feels and performs a bit different to lots of these other pastes out there. Very easy to use overall, massive thumbs up from me. And I will point out that I have seen several sort of sponsored reviews on this product already, but I can confirm that this is not a sponsored video. I purchased this even for myself. I'd love it if they were a couple of pounds lower in terms of the cost, but you can't wish for everything. If you're new to this brand, I'd probably recommend starting with this one. Let me know in the comments section below, have you tried this product yet? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Or is it one that you're still waiting to get? I'll leave a link to it down in the description so you can go and find this super easy for yourself. Anyway guys, hopefully you found this uh, short review useful. Some of my other reviews on the channel before I think have been a bit too long-winded for my taste. So as you've seen, I've kind of rapid fired through this one. Let me know if that's better, worse than the others. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you press the like button. And if you want to see similar videos just like this one on how to style your hair, what to wear, all that good stuff, make sure you press that round subscribe icon to this side here. And I've got two more videos down there for you to help you make the most of you. And I'll see you on the next one.